What up tubers, Bunny here and this week we're back in Minecraft and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a reindeer stable. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So as you see here, I have cleared some land in this general area here, well, more like clear some trees. I've created this driveway out of Podsole, and I'm actually right by this highway which I got done building the day before. And hey, it is the Christmas season, I've got Christmas music playing. So this build I'm gonna do is something that you can implement if you're creating like a Santa's village or maybe just a Christmas village in general. So the materials you're gonna wanna use for this build are primarily wood. Here you'll need spruce logs and spruce planks, the whole series, black stair and slabs. You'll want to use spruce trapdoors to create the doors themselves, and then you'll use podsole for the flooring. You can grab a bale of hay if you want, just like I did, but you're not going to be using that until the end of the build. But then the other material you'll want to grab right away is the spruce fence. You don't need to worry about the lantern either until later. You're going to want to set aside a plot of land that is 15 blocks wide by 22 blocks long. So from your front left corner, go in one block forward and to the right, and then place your log like so. Next, turn 90 degrees to the right, grab your spruce planks block, and then create this coming wall like so and include this gap. Next, you're going to place a spruce log right next to the lone spruce plank block that you just placed. Then, go over to where you placed that gap in the wall, and you see that grass block? Replace that with a block of podsole. Then, go on the opposite side of the wall, so that you are facing the opposite direction, grab your spruce trapdoor, Place it, and then put it in the open position. Now you've got yourself a stall door in the closed position. Now take your spruce planks and create a 5 block lawn wall. And then right at the end of that, place a spruce log. And then repeat this wall on the remaining sides, just as you see me doing here. Next, grab your pod sole and start replacing all the grass blocks on the floor within this 5x5 room with the pod sole. And that creates the basic floor plan for one of these stalls. Now what you're going to do is mirror this stall on the other side, as you are about to see me do. So this is how I mirrored the first stall. Now I'm going to go ahead and mirror this set of stalls in the direction which the arrow points. So this is how your reindeer stable should look so far. Now if you're building this for a Santa's village, like for example the reindeer stables for Santa's reindeer, then you're going to want to go ahead and clone this set of stalls at least once. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a shed that will eventually house a sleigh. So grab out your spruce planks and we're going to create a doorway. So go ahead and place a spruce plank here. Next, leave a four block gap, and then on the fifth block, place another spruce plank, and then place a spruce log one block to the left of the plank. Now turn 90 degrees to the right, grab your spruce planks, and now start building a wall seven blocks long, and then at the end of that wall, cap it off with a spruce log. And then create a back wall that connects the longer wall to the rest of the stable. 
And this is how the back shed should look. Now at this point, you don't need the trapdoors anymore, so you can take that out of your hotbar. You can replace the trapdoors with grindstones. And you're going to be using the grindstones to act as rollers for the sleigh. See this road that I'm pointing at right here? You're going to remove the grass blocks from this row and you're going to replace them with the grindstones. And I just placed the grindstone the wrong way. Actually, you should just observe and do what I do with this row of grass blocks as well as another row of grass blocks. And that is how you create the rollers, and at this point you don't need the grindstone anymore, so you can just get that out of your hotbar. And now, take your spruce planks and go ahead and replace the rest of the grass with the floorboards. So that creates the floor to the shed, and that actually completes the floor plan for the entire reindeer stable. So if you've been following me thus far, your build should look something like this. Now it's time to attack the walls of the stable. So grab your spruce logs and go ahead and raise all the columns by three blocks. So I'll begin with the stalls walls. Hey, that rhymes. Now we'll actually begin with the main doorway for each stall. So grab your spruce planks and slabs and create a doorway that looks something like this. So here is what the doorway should look like. And if you want, you can go ahead and create this doorway for the remaining stalls at the stable. As for me, I'm going to continue to erect the walls needed over here at stall number one. So go ahead, grab your spruce planks, and place two of them on the wall like so. Oh, and before I forget to mention, you're going to want to grab the spruce fence gates at this point. And then these gates you are going to place in the gap beneath the two plank blocks that you just placed. And the fence gates will act as shutters for your stable windows. Nifty, huh? So go ahead and grab your spruce planks once again, and you're going to erect the wall on the outside of the stall like so. And then in the gaps where the window is going to go, you're going to place fence gates there. Okay, now for the walls on the inside of the stalls. So with your plank blocks and the slabs, you're going to create walls on both of the inside walls, like so. And that pretty much makes those walls. So now I'm going to go ahead and erect walls on all the other stalls in the stable. So go ahead, watch and learn. Literally. And as you notice, the back walls of the back two stalls are different, just because you've got the shed there. Now I'm going to create the top of the walls to these stalls. And with the exception of the parts of the walls that are up against the shed, the whole top is going to be spruce fence. Now grab your spruce planks, and we're going to go build the walls to the shed. Now with the exception of the doorway, the walls are just solid all the way through, no windows. The wall with the doorway, however, is going to leave a hole that is 4 blocks wide by 3 blocks tall. Now please use full plank blocks for the top beam, not the top slabs. I decided later on to change my mind and use the full blocks instead. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to build is the door for the shed. And at this point, you don't need the fence gate so you can get them out of your hotbar. And then replace the fence gate with dark oak planks. Now you can build the door either in the closed position or the open position. In this case, I decided to leave it open. Oh, and before I get too in-depth with building the door for the shed, now is a good time for me to tell you that the edge columns of the door are actually going to be made out of birch planks, and then the central two columns will be built using the dark oak planks. And then on the side of the door, which is meant to face outside, you will place stone buttons along that face of the birch wood columns. And there you go. Now take the stone buttons out of your hot bar, and you can also take the pod sole out of the hot bar. Replace those items with dark oak planks and slabs, and now it is time to start creating the roof. So observe how I create this step of the roof. So that's what that end of the roof looks like. Now I'm going to create the bottom step of the roof over on the other end of the stable. And notice what I did here on this side of the stable. Okay, this is where roof construction gets a little bit interesting, so be sure to pay attention to what I do here. Now go ahead and add an extra layer of wall to the back side of the shed. Actually, notice how I have raised the spruce log columns up by one block. Here at this level, I am actually going to go ahead and start making horizontal beams using the spruce logs. So yeah, some of the spruce walls that you saw me put up just now, they're going to get replaced by spruce logs in a moment. But first, there's actually a little bit of roofing that I need to put up before I can start creating the spruce beams. Be sure to continue observing how I create the roofing. And here I go now, making the moves necessary to create these spruce beams. Oh, I'll get to that untouched section of roof in a moment. Here at this point you'll create more of the roof, and over on this side of the stable is where you're going to make the first connections. Now continue to build the roof over on the highlighted side. Now go over by the shed side of the roof and start building that part up. And you can actually begin working to connect the two sides of this part of the roof together now. And here is where you can replace the spruce planks that you put in a few minutes ago with the spruce logs here for the beams. And continue to observe how I build this roof. Okay, so that completes the roof. The last step in this building process is to decorate the interior of the stables. I'm not putting this stuff in the hotbar right now, but I will tell you what you need. You'll need a hay bale, a cauldron, a bucket of water, a birch fence post, and a lantern. Oh, you're also going to grab some dark oak slabs. You might want to make the roof over in the back right stall look a little less weird. I'm actually going to start by decorating inside the shed, which is pretty simple enough in this video. It's just adding a little bit of lighting. 
So go over to the back of the shed and aim at the block that I'm aiming at and then place a birch fence post down and then right beneath that place a lantern. Then you'll go over to the other side of the shed and place a birch fence post in the block where I aim and then place a lantern beneath that post. So now we're going to add some lighting inside the stalls. So go over to the corner where I'm aiming at and place a lantern down just as I put one down. And then you'll do that same fashion of lighting on the other similar corners in the stalls. Now grab your hay bales and the cauldron and water because it's now time to provide the reindeer with food and water. Now the cauldrons you'll place inside the center of one of the walls so that two stalls are able to share that water as you see me doing. The hay doesn't really matter, you can just scatter it along the stalls however you want. I'm no judge with that. And if you want, you can replace the floor block underneath the cauldron with a block of podsol, just so that the ground doesn't look a little weird underneath the cauldron. And then the last thing I have to do is place the hay. Like I said, you don't need to do anything specific or picky with it. I'm just doing something uniform here just to make things go quicker and easier. Oh, Did I say the last thing was the hay? I was wrong, I lied, I confess. The last thing you need to do is add lighting to the outside of the stables. So what you're going to do is put birch fence posts on the spruce log pillars, right at about the level where the rest of the wall consists primarily of spruce fence posts. And then right underneath the fence posts is where you'll place your lanterns. And only place lanterns where you see me put them down. And that, my friends, is how you build a reindeer stable. So, how about a tour? So you come down here, you open this hatch up to get inside, here you get your smelly floor- Oh, hey, you, it smells horrible in here! I think somebody pooped in here recently. Definitely wasn't me! So this is what one of the stalls looks like. This is what another stall looks like. Hang on. Watch this. Uh, oh. Watch this. Ah! I can't do it! Alright. I'm gonna have to do it the hard way. So, the other stall. Stall number two. Stall number three, and stall number four, and this one has a lower ceiling. See these windows? You can open them up and look outside of the world. Look outside of the world. And here is the shed where you can keep a sleigh. And actually, if you wanted, you could use this reindeer stable and actually use it as a horse stable instead, if you wanted. I mean, it's also a horse that pulls sleighs. Actually, I think the reindeer pulling sleigh concept is something only Santa implements. Not sure. Well, that does it for this tutorial, so it's going to put an end to this video of Minecraft. So this is what I have planned for videos continuing through the rest of December. On Sunday, I am going to post a video on how to build a sleigh, one that will fit inside of the shed over here, the back of the stable. Next Friday, I'm going to post a Christmas special for Geo Flight Simulator. I'll give you a hint as to what that will be. It involves delivering presents. In two weeks, I'm going to be kicking off a brand new season of Kerbal Space Program. And how am I going to do that? I am going to build Santa's sleigh. Or, I'm sorry, check that. Santa's ultimate sleigh. And then in three weeks, I'm going to post a video reflecting upon this past year. 
and also looking forward into the next year a little bit. But anyway, that concludes this week's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you all Sunday. India Alpha Bravo checking out. Ignition sequence start. Three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff.